and I can say the same thing about how good God has been to me. In spite of it all, how many out there can say God's been good to you? Let me see you wave your hand. Not only wave your hand, join in and help us sing this song. This is one of his favorites. Hallelujah. 
my uncle was not for a whole bunch of long carrying on. Many mm -hmm. of you have heard him say the grace, and you know that it was always short. And sweet. Hallelujah. <laughs> and it was sweet. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, speak now, O oh God, unto your people, God. God, we need a word from you. Oh God, use me for your glory, God. God, let the words that I speak and the things in my heart meditate on. God, let them be pleasing unto you. It is in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. I do pray and I give thanks on today. And God's people said amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Real briefly, really briefly, in the same time, the Lord made my topic the same as my scripture. Hallelujah. It will be coming from Job. The first chapter, verse 21, the B clause. And the word of the Lord says, the Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord gave, y'all say it with me, the Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job was a man, he was an upright man, he feared the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the Lord gave Job seven sons. He gave him seven sons. He gave him three daughters, and they were made with sugar and spice and everything nice. Because that's what little girls, hallelujah, are made of. Then the Bible says that the Lord gave Job cattle, not just one or two cows out in the yard, but the Bible says that he gave him 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 she asses, and very great household. Job had a big old house. But God, and he didn't stop there. The Bible says that God went on and he gave Job status, and that Job was the most famous man in all of the East. Hallelujah. Yes, God gave. Yes, he did. But there wasn't very much time long that the Bible says that everything that he had given unto Job, hallelujah, that God, after giving Satan permission to tempt him, that all of those things were taken away. Glory to God. And it says that the messengers came to Job one by one. One of them came and they said, Job, uh, the Chaldeans have come and they have taken away all of the cattle. And while that one was yet speaking, another one came and he said, Job, hallelujah, they have come and they have taken the she asses. Glory to God. And then another one came and he said, Job, fire came down from heaven and it has burned up the servants and they're all gone. And while that one was yet speaking, the Bible says that another one came and said, Job, all of your children were at your oldest son's house and a wind came and it knocked down the borders, and it fell on the children, and all of them are now dead. Hallelujah. The Lord gave. Yes, he did. But the Lord also took away. But Job didn't get caught up in his emotions. If you can imagine, everything that Job had was gone. But Job said, blessed, blessed, blessed. Be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God does that. Sometimes he gives to us. And the thing that we have to do, we have to make sure that we have the same response whenever he's giving than he does whenever he takes away. And God gave me that. And I said, God, what does this have to do with Unc? He said on May 16th, 1851, I gave a bouncing baby boy to Rufus Hillary Sr. and Hattie Bell, Mims Hillary, glory to God. And not only that, I gave a brother to Robert and sister and Joe and June and Nadi and Pete Ira, sister teen. May and Mutt. Yes, I did. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, and I kept on giving. I didn't stop there. I gave 
loving husband to Lily and to Jerome. I gave a patient and a kind father. Yes, God did. And God said, I didn't stop there. But after 2009, I gave unto Teresa a loving, a saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Love my wife like Christ loved the church husband. Hallelujah. My uncle loved honey. And if it was anything that honey wanted, he tried to make it happen. Yes, he did. He had the utmost respect for honey. And what he did, he made sure everybody else respected honey as well. The Lord gave. Yes, he did. And to old Pony Grove, he gave a Holy Ghost field deacon. Yes, he did. He gave old Pony Grove a skilled musician. Yes, God did. And to the CSRA, this state, this country, and unto this world, the Lord gave a songbird. Yes, he did. To some, he was a friend. To some, he was a confidant. To some, he was a father figure. But the Lord gave. Yes, God did. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Glory to God. But on last Sunday night, hallelujah, the Lord came and he took our songbird away. Didn't he, y'all? Unc had finished his course. He had fought a good fight. He had kept the faith. And now henceforth is laid up for him a crown of righteousness, which the Lord will give him at his return. The Lord gave. And the Lord has taken away. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God that he gave. Many times my uncle went. He showed up at your churches and he was sick. He played. He showed up at your funerals to sing. And he was not feeling well. But if there was ever a person that we would look upon to say that pressed their way. That was him. That's what he always did. And I thank God for that. I thank God for the living example that he was to all of us. But God is not done giving. I know our hearts are heavy and we are saddened. It's been just that kind of year. And everybody has lost somebody. Well, you've known someone that's lost somebody. But God is not done giving. He even sent us a word for that on today. God said, but I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Hear him closely. He says, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him when Jesus comes going to bring our loved ones. That's what that meant. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven and with the shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God. And the Bible says the dead in Christ shall rise first. Y'all look down there. Those are temporary graves. Our loved ones are going to get up. Hallelujah. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. Hallelujah. That's something to be excited about. We're going to be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Over there where we will rest from all of our troubles. Hallelujah. If you are here today and you have not made preparations to go to that place. Yeah. Today is your day. Yeah. Today is your day. 
you can come now and we can pray. And see, this is not about church membership. Hallelujah. Because there are a lot of people whose names are on the church road, but they don't know Jesus. Hallelujah. And so I dare not have us gather here today and not give someone the opportunity, hallelujah, to give their life to Christ. And so if there's anybody out there and you want someone to pray with you, you can come now. Today is your day. You can get ready. Get ready, get ready. You're next in line for a miracle. Hallelujah. Is there one? Have you ever walked the block? Oh, yeah. All night long. Come on, come on. Wondering how you are going to pay your bills. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Did a still small voice say, be strong?
out of all of what I've seen him going through, brother God, take me through. Somebody mentioned on about last Sunday, all I know after dawn, God came down, picked him a flower.
thing, he might have encouraged you with. Think about it. Just think about it for a moment. As you think about that thing, woo, take your hand, go down to the end of these strings of the balloon. Think about it. Woo, he was there when I needed him to move. Hallelujah. He was there. Hallelujah. Woo, late in the midnight hour, he was there. Hallelujah. When I needed encouragement, he was there. <laughs> Thank you. 